Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how you can add color to SL status. Now if you don't know what that is, SL status is a, uh, a patch for, or I guess it's a ancillary program, I guess is what you'd call it to DWM. It's what you use to put these put, uh, mod, uh, modules or widgets or whatever you'd call them, I guess scripts in the DWM bar. So if you don't use DWM, this video is probably going to be mostly nonsense to you, but it's fairly interesting because there's a story that goes along with this. If you've been watching the channel for a little while, you'll know that I released two videos on DWM probably in early December, close to two months ago. And they were utter failures in terms of actually doing anything in terms of ricing or customizing uh, DWM, mostly because uh, of the way I had done the patching for that uh, install of DWM. It was not well done because it was my first time patching and the one thing that you have to learn when you patch DWM is that you very have to be very deliberate in the patches that you use. You can't install all the patches no matter how much you really want to. I mean you know, it's really cool to try new things and it's awesome new shiny toys and stuff. You know I'm a nerd so of course I'm trying to go through and try new things but it, with DWM you really have to narrow down the one that's ones that you absolutely have to have otherwise you'll start having errors and that's really what I was experiencing in those videos uh, if you don't if you don't want to watch them you'll just know that uh, when I tried to add the color patching for SL status the entire uh, bar just mostly went you know away it was very weird um, and in the end, the reason why that happened was because I had installed both DWM blocks and SL status, and I was dumb uh, and thought that that would work. <laughs> uh, even though I had deleted the DWM blocks file, it didn't remove the code from the DWM.c file that D DWM blocks use uses. Um, so, just long story short, uh, eventually I had to just completely delete my DWM file completely, redownload, you know, stock DWM, recompile it, add in the patches that I absolutely had to have, and then it worked. Um, so today I'm going to show you just a little bit about how you you should, um, how you can go about adding color to SL status. Now, it's a fairly simple problem um, process. Uh, if we, uh, all right, and Sometimes my key bindings work for OBS and sometimes they don't. I don't understand. Uh, there's something conflicting. Anyways, it doesn't matter. For what she, the patch that you need to, in order to do this is called Status 2D. Uh, I just downloaded this this one here. There are other ones that you can use if you w want to use uh, XRDB, um, which I think uh, uses X resources. Um, yeah. XRDB, I believe, uses X resources, but just the regular one stack, the this one here up here, works fine because you can just control it via hex, hexadecimal or whatever color codes. Um, and it was very easy. I, I'm not. It's not. It's not the longest patch, but there's quite a bit here that it adds and subtracts. Uh, most of it is continuous. So this it has one line here that it takes off and one that it adds and then you know let me just zoom in here a little bit so you actually see this um and then it has this big block here that it, you know that it adds to dwm.c i believe uh yeah um so it's not so it's a fairly long patch but it's not the longest that i've ever seen so this is the patch you'll need i'm not going to show you how to patch it because i've already patched it as you can see up here i've added colors to my bar and if you need to really, if you you don't want to follow along with a video and you just want to follow the uh, this here, this has fairly good documentation for this. It's basically easy. Um, you can also f I'll link to my GitHub page and you'll see my SL status uh, there somewhere, uh, and you can just copy the code of that if you really want to. But if you want, to, uh, you want to see how I did it. We'll just go to my uh, config file here. And basically, these are the modules that I have set up. Uptime, CPU, percentage, RAM percentage, and so on and so forth. The colors are always in this syntax here. Carrot, C, and then the color that you want it to be, uh, you know, 
exist as. Always denoted as a uh, hexadecimal, I think is what it's called, um, a hex color code, which you can find on pretty much any color wheel you want. Uh, and then the standard SL status stuff here. And then whatever the uh, uh, module requires for uh, you know an output. That's literally it. Then you have to recompile it. So let's just change. Uh, I'm going to change one of these things here. Um, what we wanted to do. What I actually want to do is I'm going to add. This is completely. This is, it doesn't have anything to do with the colors. I just want to add the number nine to these because this is, that way these stay the same same width. But let's just say I wanted to change uh, the color of this one here to. Uh, I don't. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, let's make it. Let's make it the um, red, I guess, which would be the same as the updates. So we'll delete this here. And update one is um, E O six C seven five. Right, and we just write this, and we can actually write and quit. And what we want to do is uh, make. Oops, actually gonna have to spell that right. And then sudo make install. Enter your password. And it's good. And then if you were to log out, which I'm not going to actually be able to do because I'm recording, you would see now that this here, um, one of these, I can't remember which one I changed now, uh, would change to red. That's literally all you have to do. It's the it's the carrot C and it's always between carrots, or right? I guess it, I always call that carrot. I'm not exactly sure if that's the name of the the, the symbol. Um, we'll zoom in here so you can actually maybe even see it even better. This it's this symbol here. Uh, you know, arrow up, <laughs> whatever that's called. I I think it's called a carrot. I don't know. I'm not. Cause she, is that a she, chevrons are the ones that are on the sides, right? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, that's how you add color to SL status. It's very, very simple, but it has to be done after you patch it, patch it using that status 2D patch, and you you have to compile it. So just remember those two things, and it should work just fine. Just make sure it's inside the parentheses of the argument. I guess this is the function format. I guess is what it's called. So inside parentheses, inside carrots, then the letter C. And then the color that you want it to be, another carrot, uh, and then the argument that would normally be there. And then another quotation mark, and then a comma. That's the syntax. Fairly easy, not necessarily intuitive, because, I mean, I don't know how they chose that syntax, why I can't just have the color. Uh, but whatever, that's just the way C works. It has weird stuff sometimes. Um, so that is how you add uh, color to SL status. It's very simple. Um, I, I wish I could log it out and actually show you that it worked. Um, but like I said, I'm recording, and I don't necessarily feel like stopping the recording and restarting it. It's a big pain in the butt. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, you can support the channel in any number of ways. You can do so by uh, going to PayPal, not PayPal, patreon.com slash linuxcast. Uh, if you want to support us that way, you can also just support us by subscribing, which is uh, the easiest thing to do. Uh, you can also just like the video, hit the notification icon bell, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook. Go to the linuxcast.org and actually follow the podcast uh, that way. Uh, eventually, we'll actually have a website there. I'm working on that using Hugo. I'm going to make a video about that. So that's coming up. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.